We are going to serve this with spaghetti. This is spaghetti alle vongole. And I'm sure you probably serve this in the restaurant, right? Now and then, yeah. So we want to start with some leeks. So I've given you one there. And you want to take the, the darker green color off the leek. You can use that for stock. I'm sure you do that in a oh, restaurant, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, delicious stock. And you want to make sure that the leeks are clean. I'm going to cut this one down the center just so they can see that when you get leeks home, they could be very yeah. dirty. So dirt hides in there, so you want to make sure that you clean those well. And then we just want to cut these up. This is going to give great flavor to the dish. Plus, leeks, I think, are just a nice, mild member of the onion family. Yeah, they're wonderful. All right, so we have our leeks ready to go. And then with this, we want some parsley. So Jasper, I'm going to have you I'll chop, that chop up you. some, some flat leaf. Italian parsley. We want to use flat leaf for this, not curly. I'm not a big fan of curly parsley, are you? Uh, I like it for potatoes, I think. It has a different mm -hmm. flavor. Okay, but, well, this is. But the flat leaf parsley. This is, is Italian parsley, so right. we really want to mince that up because this is going to add additional flavor. When, when you're doing this in the Neapolitan style, you want to keep pretty much the integrity of the clams to come through as mm -hmm. the main flavor. So you don't want to block the flavor with a lot of That's the beauty of Italian food, I think, isn't right. it? Right. Look at us. We're like twins. And then to add additional flavor to this, we've got some hot red pepper paste right here. And it's delicious, and I can vouch for how hot <laughs> it is. Because he had a mouthful. <laughs> but you can find this in a tube in a grocery store. If you wanted to make your own, which this is homemade, you can take hot red peppers out of the garden, mm -hmm. and then you just whirl them up in your food processor with some oil and a little bit of salt, and you've created a paste. And this is going to give a little bit of heat to this dish. So we're going to add that a little bit later. And then we want some garlic. So why don't you chop up some garlic and sure. just keep it separate. I think a neat trick, Jasper, for garlic is to use a microplane zester. Mm -hmm. Instead of chopping, if you just go over the zester, yeah. something where you really want a fine mince, yeah, it's, you it's, see, you get a really fine mince. I like that. And, and then you can just put that in towards the it's end. It's great for using for ginger as well. Right. You yeah. can use this tool for lots of things, for zesting, for chocolate, for cheese. But I also like it for this, for garlic. So if you want to get a really fine mince, invest in one of these. Let me see where we are here now on clams. Wow. A watched clam never opens, well, right? Open so now they're ready. Once we stop watching. Okay, so we're going to drain off these clams now because now we have to shuck them. So I want to save that juice. So Jasper, I'm why gonna, don't you take that and we've got some cheesecloth lining a, a sieve. So we want to strain I'll that just out. Just use the lid to hold the clams yeah. back. Just in case there's any extra sediment in there from the clams, it'll go. It'll be left behind in the cheesecloth. So we don't want all that grit in our dish. And then okay. you're going to reuse this pan. I am. So let's put the clams in here. Okay. And when they're cool enough to handle, then we'll shut them. Now, if you have any that didn't open, you throw those away. Or if they're semi-open, then you can just yeah, force them open. Yeah, they're semi-open, just force them All right, open. so you see that pan? Yeah. Does that have any grit in it? A little bit. It does. So we have to wipe that out because we don't want that in our dish. So let me get a paper towel and just clean that out because I want to use the, the same pan. Okay. I'm a one-pan cook in the kitchen. I don't blame you. All right, so our pan is clean, but you can see there was a little grit left in yep. there, so I wanted to get that all out. All right, now... I'm going to add some olive oil to the okay. pan, a little olive oil, and we want to start making our sauce. I would say about two, three tablespoons of olive oil. So first thing we want to put in are the leeks. So the leeks go in. Let's get them all going. Get those leeks in. And I don't want to put the garlic in yet because okay. I've minced it up so fine that I want it to be, uh, I don't want it to burn. So we get the leeks okay. in, and while they're in, why don't we uh, start chucking some of these clams? All right. So, look at how beautiful these are. My God, they're beautiful. They're really beautiful. So, you take them out of the shell. Do you, do, do you ever do anything with the shells? Yeah, you can uh, <laughs> use them as decorations around your house. Yeah, <laughs> in the driveway. At, they make great ashtrays. Yeah. We can add the parsley. So, I'm going to take the parsley, put it in there. Parsley goes in. 
And with this, a little bit of that hot red pepper. I like it kind of on the spicy side, so I'm going to give it. Okay, a I good, like it spicy too. All right, too. I'm going to give it a good teaspoon. That's going to really add some heat right there. And we stir all this around in our pan. When you see that those leeks are somewhat wilted, and you can see that's happening now, that's when we can add our garlic. So I'm going to add the garlic now, that minced garlic that we had. Clams go in last, so we don't want to put those in until the very end. And now I can give this a little white wine. Why don't you hand me that bottle of wine? Want to throw some in? Throw some in. Tell me one. Ah, uh, that's good. Okay, stop. Little white wine goes in. Do you want me to? Mmm, that is smelling good. Okay, and then the only other thing we need is some lemon. Do you want me to lemon. put the spaghetti? Oh, yes. Our pot of water is going. We want to cook a pound of spaghetti for this. So you want at least four to six quarts of boiling water. So I think we're ready to put the pasta in. If you want to do that, I will get the lemon ready. So we want one lemon for this. And you just want to juice the lemon. Did you put salt in the water, Jasper? I thought it was already salted. No, well, let's pretend it is. But you want okay. a, you want a, a of tablespoon course, yeah. of salt in no, there. I'm putting salt in. So there is just in case the juice of one lemon, which is going to give you oh about a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. That's going to bump up the flavor. Wow, that's good. And nothing stuck to the pan. No, it's beautiful. Because we used enough water. So I'm going to let you give that the old restaurant toss because you're good at that. Woo! I wish I had that strength in my hands. That looks good. Okay. All right, so now that can go right out onto Beautiful. this platter. Yeah. There it goes. Spaghetti alle vongole with all of these beautiful clams. I want to make sure yeah. they're evenly distributed. We add a few of our clams in the shell, those beautiful clams that were just dug yesterday. And we give this just a little drizzle of olive oil. Mm -hmm. 